Hello and welcome to more Skip, Rent, or Buy. Today we're going to be looking at Candyman. Now, much like Cube, Candyman is not mainstream. Basically, if you think of horror as just escapism, the movie's probably not for you. Um, it's very much a horror movie that makes you think. Um, and you can interpret it different ways. It's based upon a Clive Barker story. I have not read uh, the story itself, but it it is very much in the vein of something Clive Barker. So if you've seen the first Hellraiser, for example, or if you've read anything by him, that you pretty much, you probably have an idea of what you're in for. But it's actually, interestingly enough, a downright engaging at times even touching story, it stays with you after you've watched it. The Candyman himself is very carefully built up and established through the film, so, you know, when you see him, it has an effect. You don't get used to him at any point. Th this is pretty much the role that people know, you know, when they think Tony Todd, they think Candyman. And he just, he's fantastic. Um, the, um, the charisma that he gives the character it's um, some some have compared it to a, a kind of like Dracula uh, kind of thing you know he's and he, he's not just like despicable and creepy he's definitely creepy but he's also almost charming in a way the acting is a bit hit and miss um, I'd I'd say Virginia Madsen does really good um, Xander Berkeley is. As as you would expect from Alexander Berkeley, he's just he kind of has this habit of showing up here and there. Sometimes in big movies, sometimes in small. He's in the second Universal Soldier movie. Yeah, <clears throat> but and and he's just kind of he's not terrible and he's not like fantastic. He's he's there and I do gotta give props to that kid in the movie. That has to be one of the most convincing performances. I mean, for a kid, he's freaking amazing, but just as an actor, he's really, really good. He, you know, you could outact a number of adults. You know, people who, who have more experience than him just by virtue of the fact that they've spent more years on the planet. As it is Clive Barker, it is sick, disturbing, twisted. Um, I mean, the man is responsible for some of the most disgusting and awful um, monsters uh, and the ones that most stick, you know, that you have the hardest time of... I mean, everybody knows who Pinhead is, you know. But with that said, there, there's not an awful lot of gore, um, and, and it's all effective, I would say. It's never... it never felt gratuitous. But yeah, all in all, if you like Clive Barker and you like horror that, you know, takes it that step beyond, that isn't just about people getting killed or, uh oh, this new house we just moved into is haunted or something like that, I definitely say give it a try, at least rent it.